feed me. My name's Alex Seropian. I'm the president of Wide Load Games, and we're here to show you Stubbs the Zombie. Wide Load Games actually was founded on Valentine's Day of 2002, and uh, you know my previous gig was I was founder of Bungie, you know, working on Halo, and then uh, uh, in 2002 started up Wide Load with a, a bunch of other Bungie guys. And uh, the first project that we're working on, which we're going to show you today, is Stubbs the Zombie. Stubbs the Zombie is uh, a game in which you play a character named Stubbs, who is in fact a zombie. And uh, Stubbs, is, his full name is Edward Stubblefield. He was a traveling salesman in the 30s, not a particularly good one. He, he managed to get himself killed. And uh, about 30 some odd years later, Andrew Munday, this billionaire industrialist, decides to build a gleaming city of the future. And this is in the 50s, right? So this is like uh, guys in the 50s, their idea of what the year 2000 would be like. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's got robots, it's got hovering cars, no crime, perfectly clean. But he makes the mistake of, of building it right on top of Stubbs' grave, which, of course, you know, reanimates him into a zombie. And he pops up through the ground on opening day of Punch Bowl, and that's where the game starts. Its genesis really was, hey, what if you made a game where you were a zombie? You know, because we all like zombie games, right? But, you know, what if you played the zombie? And um, it was a really cool challenge for us because... If you think about um, zombies, they're, you know, they don't run around really fast. They're not the smartest you know, bulb in the match. They don't usually run around with guns and stuff. So you know, how, do you, how do you turn that into a cool game? And we came up with a couple of really interesting um, mechanics for the game. Uh, the first of which is this idea of conversion, where uh, you're a zombie. You run around battling human guys. You eat their brain. They fall down. Then they get back up as a zombie, and now they're on your team. And that's a really cool mechanic. It's really simple, but you turn an enemy into an ally. And that really it sort of can change the, the balance of things really um, quickly in, in some really interesting ways. And then the other mechanic we came up with was this idea of using your body as the weapon. So you don't tote around a big, you know, chain gun or whatever, but um, you've got these cool abilities where like you can rip off your hand and, and chuck it. And now you're, we switch player control to your hand, and the hand can run around anywhere in the environment. You go through air ducts, you can throw it through a window, um, you can go places where you know normally you can't go. And it also has this cool feature where, with the hand, you can possess any of the other characters in the game. So all all the enemies that you encounter, they're they're all important, right? Because if you if you whack one, they come back as your teammate, or you possess them and use their weapon. Um, so it, it's it, it that's pretty cool. And then there's other body abilities that that Stubbs has too, where he can like rip a chunk out of his guts and throw it as a grenade. And and he's got this ability called the unholy flatulence, which is like this area of effect attack. So th those two things, like the conversion and the body as a weapon, those are sort of uh, you know our big ideas. Those are like the, the core mechanics of the game. The game is built on the Halo engine, um, and there's a few areas where we've uh, sort of um, you know split off to do our own thing. Um, one of which is uh, we're doing some graphic effects. Um, we have a new image effect system where uh, basically we can give the game this this filtered sort of grainy look, so it makes it look more period to the 50s. And we also do stuff where when you rip off your arm and you're running around as the hand, we've got this cool image effect that's like it's all sort of black and white over bright with blurred edges and it, it, it just gives it some visual distinction which is kind of neat. Um, and another area where we're, we're sort of going off on our own, um, charting our own territory is with uh, some of the stuff we're doing to the AI to make the, uh, to make the zombies um, do what you would expect them to do which is pretty neat. So the, the zombies will basically, you know, they follow you around, they'll engage enemies that you're fighting, uh, but you can also, you can also control them. Um, and it's, there's no, there's no interface to it. It's completely diegetic, you know, it's like it's in the world where you can shove a zombie and they'll go where you shove them or you can call them over and they'll come to where you are. And as simple as that sounds, that push pull mechanism, it's got some really cool effects where like you could be hiding behind a tree or something and cover, right? And there's this dude with a giant chain gun out in the road. So if you run out there, he's going to shoot you, right? But you can, like, run into the road, call your zombies over, and they're kind of dumb, right? So they're just going to do what Stubbs says. So they run out into the road, you jump back behind cover, and now they're, they're out in the road getting shot, which means that guy with the chain gun is focusing on um, the zombies out in the road. So you can run around them, you know? So you can use that really simple mechanic of, you know, push-pull on your zombies to, to have, a, like, a tactical advantage. Um, the soundtrack for the game is something that we're we're really excited about. Um, we've got some really great artists on it, like Death Cab for Cutie and and uh, Ben Queller, and some really cool songs that are inspired out of the time period of the game, um, like Earth Angel and My Boyfriend's Back, and a lot of really cool songs out of the 50s. Um, 
And uh, it was a really great opportunity to work really collaborative, collaboratively with our publisher, Aspire, because they have um, a lot of contacts in the, the uh, recording industry. They have a, a label um, to publish music. So that's worked out really well for us. So look for Stubbs the Zombie coming in September 2005 from Aspire Media and Wide Load Games coming to the Xbox. Even more of it. Drunk and high. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Ha 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 